Hello everyone, let's um, dive deep into how to connect the search platform that we built in the previous video into your actual uh, frame. Like I mentioned, my, my frame is a TR160 and we also talked about how your rig, like in my case a TR160 frame, is going to sit on top of your search platform that you built and the way that these two connect together is through these brackets, right? We talked about that. So you have these brackets right here, these brackets right here, and these these bra brackets, you know, they're they're they can, they're easily connect um, to the um, uh, to the TR160. It's just you put in the uh, the rolling nuts, and uh, you just use the M8 screws, and bam, um, it, it just connects on on on, on uh, all four sides. And uh, that part is, is simple. Now the second part is. Um, you still need the search to move your cockpit back and forth. Um, right now, it's just it's not doing anything. It's just connected to it, but it doesn't move the search back and forth. So this is where this actuator comes in right here. And if you take a look, you have these two bars right here, right? This one right here and this one right here. And you'll need to ensure first of all that these two bars are in the middle so the distance from here to here is about the same from here to here so it has to be in the middle of this rod right here okay and same thing on this side so the distance from here to here will be the same distance from here to here as much as you can it should sit this this should sit in the middle and that's the first thing you need to to, to ensure when you connect this now your TR160 frame should have this bar in the middle, right here. And that's how your like, actuator will connect to your rig. And it'll start moving it back and forth. Okay? And um, what in my case, I'll, I'll give you an, uh, an option, and I'll give you an idea. Uh, I had to, you don't have to do this, you may not have to do this, but I, I, I did it myself. I replaced these profiles right here that came with the uh, uh, pull-up bar, um, I replaced it with longer uh, profiles. Um, to be honest, if you look at this picture here, you see they're barely they're they're connecting on the last piece on the last on on, on the end of the um, of the uh, horizontal uh, profile. They're connecting all the way to the bottom right here, so. What, what I've noticed, what happened is, it actually, I was driving, I was racing, and this thing, just these these um, small profiles, they actually disconnected and then came off. Um, that really happened. So I do recommend, so what I had to go, what I had to do is, I just needed to get longer profiles that actually went all the way to the top. So these profiles, they went away. No, I just I just cut, the, just cut longer ones and connected them and they went all the way to the top. And to actually, connect them is pretty, pretty straightforward like you see here uh, you just need the rolling nuts uh, on both ends so right here right here just ins insert it in the middle bar and then make sure that um, you how you use these um, uh, gossets right here now I'll be honest if if you are gonna go and you know go by my recommendation and make them longer so if they go all the, way, all, the way, all the way till here, if you can do that, do it. And also, if you can use the brackets, like you see these brackets at the back here, which is like two whole brackets, if you can use brackets like these, go for it. Um, instead of using just the, the regular gossets. Because the surge, you know, there's a lot of movement back and forth. Um, and it does take a toll on your, on your hardware. So um, try to do that if you can. These are just my recommendations and um yeah and when you're connecting this another suggestion is um this thing you have to make sure it's straight because you know it's not like tilted left or tilted right make sure it's 100 percent straight mm -hmm. and something else that i want to share with you guys if you're building this that you you know it may confuse you because it confused me when i was building this is the actuator right here how far should it be pulled out like should it be as it is in its normal position when you get it, or should should be pull, should you pull it in like fifty percent? Um, because you remember you need to go back and forth. 
So if you leave it like this, you're thinking, okay, so how am I gonna go back? Let's say you put the um, the search platform on top, you put the rig on top of the search platform, it's the same distance. The actuator in its position, position right now, it, it can go back, right? It can only go forward, and it'll go forward 150 millimeters. But that's not what you want. You want it to be like 50% and then going back and forth. So it'll be able to pull forward and pull back. So you would think, oh no, I should install in a way where it's already open at 50%. This way it has the option to go forward if I want to, and it has the option to go back, but you do not need to do that. Um, you can install it as it is, but you need to make sure that it is installed in a way where it can make up for that 50%. And that's what I mean. So it depends on, let's say in my case, I had, I had six motors, right? Um, so in the Thanos controller, what I do is I set it up to the, there's an option to set it up to the number of motors you have, which I have, you know, four front and back, and you have the two, one for the traction and one for the uh, uh, search. Um, so there's an option in the Thanos controller and it will just say, hey, I have six numbers of motors is six. And there's also another option that says auto park actuator. And the auto park, um, and I, I set it to like four actuators plus TL plus search. That's one of the options there. And that will automatically park the TL, the traction loss, and the search actuator at 50% of stroke. Hopefully that makes sense. So you can you can tweak it uh, after after you know, after you install it. You can you can, you can tweak it up a bit. Um, you can move that middle piece right there, right here, that middle piece. You can move it back and forth to accommodate for the 50% when it's at park. But you need to make sure that when it is at park, at 50% uh, stroke, the 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 traction loss uh, platform is on top of the um, surge. Sorry, the uh, tr 160 is on top of the surge, and it's actually even. Uh, it's not like it's pulled all in a you know. It's even with the frame. And here is the actuator in the park position, which is 50% stroke. You see that? That's a 50% stroke. And now the uh, my TR160, I, I, again, sitting on top of the surge, and they're leveled. It's not like the um, the frame, the TR160, or the actuator is pushing the frame. My, my TR160, like at you know, like 50% ahead of the um, of the surge when it's park position. That's what happens in park position, and that's what it should be in park position. What you can do is you can power the, you can install the actuator, power the actuator, connect it to the controller, and then uh, set it the options like I mentioned uh, earlier, and um, which will make the actuator be at 50% in the park position. And then you can move the middle piece in the TR160 back and forth, and just set it this set it this way. And do the same thing for the um, for the traction traction loss. We can get into the traction loss, but the same thing you'll need to do for the traction loss. So make sure you you accommodate for all of this uh, while you're installing. Here's what I was saying earlier, uh, guys. That um, I made it longer, right? It's no longer that small piece that goes on only um, up till here. Now it goes all the way to the top. Much better, and I have these, you know, these brackets. That, you know, make sure you get really sturdy brackets. These are some beat up brackets. I don't know. It's just, it's just a little chip from here, but it's okay. It's not causing any problems. So that's what I'm saying. This is very important. If you can strengthen this and put the um, more brackets, uh, go for it. Um, if you have the brackets that comes with three uh, holes or two holes uh, and very sturdy, just go ahead and do that. But make sure this is really strong, uh, so you don't have any issues. Um, okay.